morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas day four. Um, so I feel like every time I start a vlog, I'm sitting on my sofa. That is not all that I do. Um, but yeah, I've just woken up, well I haven't actually, it's 10 past 10, I woke up about half eight, to a really croaky voice. Um, whenever my voice or throat goes funny now, it just makes me paranoid, because about two, two and a half weeks ago, I was really, really poorly with laryngitis, which I've never had. And my voice completely went, like for three days, I had no voice, like nothing, not even a croak. I felt like Ariel from The Little Mermaid when she's like robbed of her voice. And at first it's a bit amusing because you're like, oh, look at me, I can't talk. And I was having to like text Steve even though we're in the same house because I couldn't talk. Um, or like sign language stuff to him. Like I know that sounds amusing, but we actually had to do that. And then after a couple of hours, I was starting to get really down and really fed up about it because my throat was all inflamed as well so you're really uncomfortable and the fact that you can't just talk like you really do take things for granted when you've not got them I was like oh my god I really miss my voice and that was about two two and a half weeks ago and ever since that it came back within about five days my voice slowly started to come back but it's never been the same since and I, I know it can take a while for your throat and vocal cords to recover but today I've woken up and it's particularly croaky so you know when you get a bit paranoid and you're like don't let me lose my voice again um so i've literally just bunged my hair up in a ponytail so excuse the and again i've literally just put a bit of blusher on today no other makeup just so i don't frighten you all on camera um sorry i'm not always all glammed up there will be some vlogmases where you do see me going out so i'll be all made up but when i'm just around the house or popping to the local shops and it's nothing special i don't really like to get do you know what I mean? Like super glammed up. Like some people do and that's great. Like each to their own. But I just, I just want an easy life guys. I'm already way too busy as it is. So to spend like half an hour getting all doled up. I just, I'd rather use that time doing something a bit more like worthwhile or a bit more practical. Do you know what I mean? So excuse the hair and makeup. But I have got a really pretty sparkly necklace on. <laughs> just to be Christmassy. So, yeah, so the plans are today, I'm waiting for my mum and my little one-year-old nephew to come round, which would be really nice. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so they're going to come round and we're going to decorate the Christmas tree because we've got a new tree, guys. I don't know if you can see. Woohoo, there's the tree. So it's seven foot um, and I'm going to buy, like, see around the bottom of it where the metal leg is. I'm actually going to buy a basket today from Habitat. Habitat, home base, sorry. It's actually like a skirt, you know, for Christmas trees, but it looks like a wicker basket. So I'm hoping they've got it in stock. If not, I'll have to order it in. Um, just so you can't see the ugly legs at the bottom. And then we're going to put the lights on it and the ornaments. So still don't know what theme. Um, hopefully you guys might have seen my other vlog, day two by now, and left a comment in the description box of what theme you saw. If not, don't worry about it. So yeah, that's the plan. So when they get here and we start decorating the tree, I'll uh, continue vlogging. All right, bye. Hi guys. So I popped out with my mom. We went and brought some more fairy lights or Christmas lights, I should say, for our Christmas tree. Um, and we quickly went and had a bit of lunch, which was lovely. So she's just quickly popped to the supermarket with my nephew to get some bits for dinner tonight she wants to do. Um, so I'm back at home and she's helped me do the lights on the tree because my mum's really good and patient with lights, I'm not. So now, with a bit of peace and quiet, I'm just hanging all the ornaments and the baubles, which I love. Um, the house is still like a bomb's hit, but I've decided on a theme. <laughs> Excuse the garland in the background there. Obviously, as you can see, we've not even bothered putting that up properly yet. We've got to take all our wedding cards down. You might be able to see on the stairs. Um, and all our wedding cards go all across the wall and all the way over there. So we've got to take them all down to make way for garlands that we want to hang and Christmas cards when we hopefully get some. Um, so again, like I said, excuse the all natural look, but I'm really just in working mode and home mode today. So I'm gonna um, switch the camera round and show you what the Christmas tree looks like so far. So this is our beautiful Christmas tree so far. It's a seven foot snowy one. And then I went and got my gorgeous wicker skirt from home base, which I'm so happy with. It makes such a difference. It was £20, but then 20% off because over the next couple of days, home base have got 20% off all Christmas decorations. So that was a bargain. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love the tree. If I come a bit closer, 
you'll see I've got a mixture of lights. I've got 350 lights on it. Some are the more miniature, traditional ones like that. And then other ones are these gorgeous, they're called like berry lights, um, but they really remind me of the lights that we had hanging above our um, wedding reception a couple of months ago on our wedding day. They really remind me of that, so that puts a smile on my face. Um, I've started putting these gorgeous little wooden stars, which are actually from mine and my mum's online shop, Mina and May. They're like Scandinavian whitewashed wooden stars on some string. Um, you can buy them in a pack of 10 from the website. Obviously get your orders in ASAP because they are selling out and obviously people are doing their Christmas trees. So you get a pack of 10 for 9 99 um, And then I've put some more ornate baubles on and I put on some beautiful mercury glass little hearts. And then again, it's really nice to bring in aspects of your wedding, but it doesn't have to be in an obvious way. So these heart um, stags, we've got two of them. We got them as a, one we actually brought ourselves as part of the wedding decor, and one was given to us as a gift with some money. Um, they're from Matalan. I don't know if we've still got them, but Matalan has some really good little home accessories. There's one round there, and the other one is down here. So they're just nice little things that you can do. Um, and then, yeah, I just need to continue adding to the Christmas tree. Hey guys, so it's now about 10 past eight in the evening. Apologies, but I vlogged this morning and then during the day, kind of didn't really pick up the camera. Um, truth be told, my mum was here and my little nephew and it was just so busy. It was like Christmas carnage. There was just stuff everywhere and I still feel like there is. And I really just wanted to focus and get the tree done and get as much decorations up as possible. There is still decorations to finish, which Steve's gonna kindly try and do later this evening and tomorrow while I'm at work. Um, but a lot of it's up and we're really happy with it. So I'll show you everything properly once everything's up and the house is all clean and tidy. Um, so yeah, so tonight is just a Friday night in. We're gonna watch I'm a Celebrity. I wonder who's next to go. Um, I'm gutted it's finishing on Sunday because I love I'm a Celebrity. It's like one of my favorite shows. Um, and I'm just trying to think. I never thought I'd say this because I watch TOWIE, like, you know, don't shoot me. But um, Fern never particularly comes across well. And I know those kind of shows are scripted and staged to some extent. But when I heard she was going in the jungle, I was like, oh God, like they're doing that just to get ratings, like, cause she's such a bitch. Um, but I'm actually quite surprised with how she's come across. I don't know if you guys agree with me who watch TOWIE, but I think she's actually coming across like a really nice girl. So she's actually who I'm rooting to win. So, um, you know, us Essex girls have got to stick together. So yeah, so we'll see who goes tonight. And then Gogglebox, I love Gogglebox. Me and my family 100% belong on Gogglebox, um, so <laughs> that'd be pretty cool if we were ever on Gogglebox. So right now I'm just looking at the yummy Mexican food that Steve is cooking for dinner. Mm, yum yum. Yeah, so we're having fajitas tonight, which would be nice. I'm just in my pyjamas at the moment, nothing fancy, guys. So yeah, Steve, do you want to say hi? Say hi. Hello. This is my husband. Hello. Um, so, yeah, he watches other people's vlogs with me. Fleur de Fools. Yeah, see? <laughs> Fleur, if you're yeah. watching this, like, Steve thinks yours and Mike's vlogs are brilliant. Um, he's turning into such a blogging, blogging freak like me. He loves... Who else do you enjoy watching? Um, oh. Let's see if he remembers people's names. Oh, Susie. Oh, he does. Yeah, Susie and Tommy, um, who have just had baby Aiden. So congratulations to them. Not HRH, yeah. He doesn't, yeah. If, I doubt Alex would ever watch my videos, but he's not a massive fan of her, but I think her vlogs are hilarious. So, yeah, so I'll check in with you guys later once we're eating. Hey, guys, so it's now later on in the evening. It's 9.36, to be exact. Thanks, laptop, in front of me. Um... Yeah, I'm just waiting for Steve. He should be home any minute. Bless him. He's quickly popped to the local shops to get um, some milk and we're going to be naughty and get some cookies or some kind of biscuits and then settle down, have a cup of tea, have some biscuits and watch I'm a Celebrity. So I've paused it. So we're currently like nearly 35 minutes behind the actual live show. So I'm having to avoid all social media because I don't want to know what's happening, who gets voted out, anything. Um, yeah, so I'm just waiting for him to come back from the shops. 
just on my laptop and I've just had to re-upload Vlogmas Day 2 because it, my file was corrupted earlier for some weird reason and it only uploaded half of the video. So fingers crossed that works now if you want to watch it. Um, day 3 I'm technically skipping. This is obviously day 4 you're watching but day 3 I'm skipping because yesterday I worked 9.30 in the morning till 9.30 at night. So there was no chance of me vlogging. By the time I got home, I felt so poorly and I was so tired. I just went straight to bed and straight to sleep. So there wouldn't have been anything to vlog on day three. So we're going to miss that out and just crack on. Tomorrow's Saturday, so that'd be vlogmas day five. Um, again, I'm at work most of the day. I will try and vlog a bit in the morning before I go if I've got time. Um, in the evening, straight from work, me and my colleagues were going to go to um, a local Chinese restaurant, which is near the shop, which is so yummy. It's such a good Chinese restaurant because I'm really, I do like Chinese, but I definitely prefer Indian food. But this Chinese food is amazing. And we're going to get all like dressed up, go there and then go somewhere afterwards for a few cocktails. Sadly, I can't drink, which is so annoying because of some steroid medication I'm on. But luckily, I'm one of those that doesn't need alcohol to have a good time. Don't get me wrong, it does help. I do love it, but I don't need it to have a laugh and be silly because I am really childish and silly anyway. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, while Steve's at shops and I've got I'm a Celebrity on pause, I was just catching up on some other YouTubers' vlogmas. So i am just watched um, Stephanie Dreams. So hi, Steph, if you're watching. Um, I need to catch up with so many people's. That's the only thing with Vlogmas, if you don't stay on top of it, you're like, oh, like sometimes I spend like two hours, if I've even got time for two hours, to watch videos back to back. So, I've got to watch Fleurs, Zoe's, who else have I got on there? Fleur, Zoe's, um, Sammy's, Beauty Crush, um, who else do I watch? You know when you're doing... I'll talk Becky talk. I love Becky. Um, I hope you're starting to feel better soon, lovely. And yeah, I know people with very similar health issues to you. Um, so I can kind of see the pain that you can go through because I see it firsthand. So I really hope you feel better soon. Um, who else do I like watching? Tanya. Gabby. So I'm just like over at Carly. Um... There's so many. Stars, I love Susie's, but I don't know if she'll be doing Vlogmas because she's obviously just had a baby. So she's got much more important things to be doing. Um, yeah, so basically I have a lot of Vlogmas to catch up on. So depending how tired I am, after I'm a celeb, I might crawl into bed with my iPad or laptop and watch Vlogmas. So yeah, if I don't get a chance to speak to you guys later tonight, um, I hope you've enjoyed today's other short but random vlog. I do promise they'll get a bit longer and more interesting, but I'm new to this, remember? Um, so it's kind of just getting used to having to like pick up your phone, switch the camera on, talk, what's interesting to vlog about, do you know what I mean? So just bear with me, but um, if I don't catch up with you later, have a good night, bye.